There is a rule about odd and even exponents that lets you know the sign of your answer before you even do the calculation. We're going to look at that right now. Welcome to Math Bites. I'm Allison, and today we're talking about odd and even exponents. Now, if I take 2 and square it, that's 2 times 2, which is 4. If I take negative 2 and square it, that's negative 2 times negative 2, which is also 4. If I take 2 and cube it, that's 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. If I take negative 2 and cube it, that's negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2, which is negative 8. So you'll notice that when my base changes sign from positive to negative, the answer is still positive if my exponent is even. But the answer is negative if my exponent is odd. So we can generalize that to this. Negative x raised to the power of m is equal to x to the power of m if m is even. And negative x raised to the power of m is equal to the negative of x raised to the power of m if m is odd. Let's do a couple of examples to prove to ourselves that this rule is correct. So I've got our rule written here. Negative x raised to the power of m is equal to x to the power of m if m is even. And negative x raised to the power of m is equal to the negative of x raised to the power of m if m is odd. All right, so in our first case, x is equal to 3 and m is equal to 4. So x raised to the power of m is 3 to the power of 4, which is 81. All right, if x is 3, that means negative x is negative 3. So let's see what negative x to the power of m is equal to. That's equal to negative 3 to the power of 4. And that's equal to negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3. Now I'm just going to go one negative 3 at a time. Negative 3 times negative 3 is 9, so that leaves me with 9 times negative 3 times negative 3. 9 times negative 3 is negative 27, so that leaves me with negative 27 times negative 3. And negative 27 times negative 3 is positive 81, which is equal to 3 to the power of 4. And that's what we would expect to get based on our rule. Okay, let's do another example. In this case, x is equal to 2 and m is equal to 5. So x to the power of m is equal to 2 to the power of 5, which is equal to 32. Now, since x is 2, negative x is negative 2. So let's figure out what negative x to the power of m is equal to. That's equal to negative 2 raised to the power of 5. And that's equal to negative 2 multiplied by itself 5 times. So let's just take one negative 2 at a time. Negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. So that leaves me with 4 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. So that gives us negative 8 times negative 2 times negative 2. Negative 8 times negative 2 is a positive 16. So we get 16 times negative 2, and that's equal to negative 32, which is equal to the negative of 2 raised to the power of 5. Again, just what we would expect from looking at our rule. Now, it's important to take note of this distinction, and that is the difference between negative 2 raised to the power of 4 and the negative of 2 raised to the power of 4. The first one, negative 2 raised to the power of 4, is equal to negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. That's positive 16. But the negative of 2 to the power of 4 is equal to the negative of 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And that's equal to negative 16. So it's important to note the difference in that so you don't get messed up with your signs. This rule about odd and even exponents might seem obvious or not that important. But it comes in very useful when working with variables. And it's also a good check. You can know what the sign of your answer is going to be before you even get there. And that can be very useful. That's it for this episode of Math Bites. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel. And if there's something you'd like to ask us, just send us an email. We're at contactmathbites at gmail.com. And I'll see you next time.